Welcome to Los Angeles, California. We are at Race Service and Automotive Hub. I'm Jared Dienda, and we're surrounded by inspiration and some influential people. Sit next to me, Sung Kang, notably an actor, but also car collector. Tony Breidinger, an accomplished racer. Mr. Designer, John Sabal. 13th Witness, representing the photography world, and tuner and content creator, Adam LZ. We're talking GT7, because we all got to experience it. What was the track you played over there? Um, first one was Laguna Seca, which I've been on in real life, and I was really surprised. The track is pretty much like identical to real life, which was super cool. After playing the game, the realism in it and the way that the dynamic of the car handles, I think the next generation is going to be so much better prepared than we were, just with all these tools at their disposal. The same could be said for the photography part of it too. Got all your controls like you do in a camera, your aperture, your shutter speed, and it reflects how it does in the real world. The way I design body kits is I always look to the motorsport. I look to Gran Turismo even, and I apply that in real life. Like the bumper that I currently have on my E36 was fashioned after a GTR that I played in Gran Turismo. That car resides in 1.2 million garages within the Gran Turismo game. That is amazing, it's like Spaguzzi had 1.2 million babies. <laughs> What do you think and how will GT7 change the landscape? I would say like a lot of people ask me, what's the easiest way to get into racing? And I honestly feel like this game is such a good step in that direction. You can easily make laps, whether they want to do it as a hobby, your career just kind of gives them access to make that first step. Going through the different options of modifications you can do to the car, I just found it fascinating how every single little mod, there was an explanation of what it does, why it works, and mind-boggling how much you can learn from a game. It's crazy how, how far things have come, how realistic things look, right? Like the line is blurred between virtual and real. I think anybody that's pushing the boundaries to create and come up with new designs, whether you're a tuner, driver, collector, those are all influences to me. That's kind of a testament to Gran Turismo's evolution because it allows you to evolve your bandwidth within cars and it grows with you. It's a video game, but it's more than that. It's a culture, it's a lifestyle, and it's applicable for all of us here. GT7 just celebrates what automotive culture is all about.